U.S. Environmental Protection Agency recently published a new web page on sources of indoor particulate matter. On the web page, the agency reports that it is especially concerned about tiny particles that are 10 micrometers in diameter or smaller. These particles can be inhaled deep into the lungs where they can cause serious health effects, including decreased lung function and other conditions. Particulate matter found indoors includes particles that come from outdoor air and particles that are generated indoors. Outdoor air brings particles indoors when it enters through windows, doors, and other openings. In a residential environment, EPA reports that particulate matter can be generated by cooking, some cleaning activities, combustion activities, biological contaminants, printers, and indoor chemical reactions. EPA also states that indoor dust is settled particulate matter from a variety of sources and may contain outdoor soil and dust that has been blown or tracked indoors, biological particles, also known as biological contaminants, including pollen, mold spores, pet dander, dust mites, and human skin flakes and hair, particles from human activities, such as cooking, cleaning, and burning candles, particles from consumer and personal care products, plastics, flame retardant, and pesticides, and sometimes industrial chemicals and heavy metals, such as lead. These are just some of the many potential sources of particulate matter and dust that can be found indoors. The good news is there are ways to measure the amount of particulate matter indoors and identify its composition. With this information, steps can be taken to improve the indoor air quality and mitigate any exposure concerns that may be present. These are just a few of the many things to know about sources of indoor particulate matter. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, industrial hygiene, environmental health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.